What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 5.3 quart Cook's Essentials air fryer and tonight I'm gonna make some air fryer hot dogs from Frozen. Now I vacuum sealed both of these but I didn't vacuum seal these uh, too well. Um, it didn't, I guess I didn't do it properly and I guess some air got into it so this is how it looks. So I need to cook this, uh, make these pretty fast before they get freezer burned if they're not already. But I think they're good. But this is what it's supposed to look like. If I did it right, it would look like this. And this will last three, four, five months easy in my deep freezer. So, anywho, let's get started. First off, I gotta get my chili popping for my hot dogs. Got my HSN chop chop in the house. Got a red onion. Got a regular onion. And I just chop it. Oop, 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 oop. That's it. Got my QVC Digital Perfect Cooker in the house to make the chili. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. And to my new subscribers, I just want to let y'all know quickly, it's not a game in my kitchen. It really isn't. Y'all already know what it is. Alright guys, as you can see, these hot dogs are good and frozen. Now what I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this, but I would recommend you do this. I'm going to put a slit um, put three slits in, in the hot dogs from the top, middle, and end because sometimes when you do it from frozen, if you don't do that, it could explode. It could. So, just, you know, just as a caution, I like to do that. I'm not saying you have to, but who wants to, you know, I don't care if you do it 20 times and that one time it exploded. Who wants that, right? So to give you an example, I'm just doing this like that, I'm on the middle, oh. and then the other end. Just something like that. All right, got my air fryer basket out. All right, guys, I got the slits facing up, and um, I'm going to do it for 400 for 10 minutes and uh, give it a turn at 5. See how that works. All right, this is how they're looking at with five minutes left from 10 minutes. So like I said, I'm gonna turn them and put them back in. All right, we're about to put them back in. Got a cucumber, y'all. Oh yeah, I took it out with two minutes remaining, so that was a total of eight minutes. So if you were to do it, I would do it for five minutes, definitely on you know the first side, the slit side up, and then do you know you can do the remaining minutes um, to your liking um, after that. So yeah, so three minutes, or you can go the full ten if you want it more well done. But this is to my liking, smells good and it sounds like it's gonna be really juicy. I can smell the chili too. Oh, we're not done yet. I got frozen hot dog buns we gonna put in the air fryer. What y'all know about that? Frozen. Just broke them apart. I'm gonna put some parchment paper in here because 
it's already wet so I'm just gonna put that down just to so my buns don't be soggy or nothing like that you know what I mean but yeah let me just leave one in there I was gonna put two in there but let, one's fine all right uh, I'm gonna do 300 degrees for two minutes see what that does there you have it guys nice and done nice I could have probably even went for if you like it like really like crunchy crunch I don't like my bread crunchy like that not my hot dog bread anyway um, you could even went for three minutes this is awesome first time I'm trying it and shout out to my um, air fryer group on Facebook I did get that tip from somebody in that group they did it for uh, 300 degrees uh, for two minutes so shout out to you one time that is smelling so good y'all mmm I'm gonna give you another look at the hot dog nice you know I like ketchup on my hot dogs Sorry guys, I hate mustard, so I can't do it today. Sometimes I do it in the video just for y'all, but I don't think I could stomach that today. <laughs> I'm still not done though. Got some sharp cheddar. After this, I'll just throw out the rest of this pack. Come on now. I don't feel like having fries tonight, so I'm having some cucumbers with my hot dogs and I didn't have any Italian dressing normally I put that on there so this is what I got close to it well this is what I got let's pour a little bit of that on there and we ready to eat all right guys I am starved so let's go ahead and take a bite see that look at that y'all You go ahead first. Got it? Okay. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hot dog tastes really good. Has an extra juiciness to it. Mmm. trying to tell you go ahead and have a cucumber with me now come on now I got it mm. man that's good I love me some cucumbers anywho I'm going to leave a link in the description to my air fryer group. We have over 43,000 members now in there. So come in there if you need to, you know, check out some recipes or share yours. We take pictures. We share best practices. It's self-explanatory. Check the numbers. Um, so, yeah, definitely join that group. But that's all I got. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. Um, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe, and if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug.